In Jude, chapter 1, verses 24 and 25, Jude writes, But to the one being able to keep watch regarding you, without stumblingly falling, and to cause you to stand down before his glory without blemish in exaltation, to the only God our Saviour, by means of Jesus Christ our Lord, is glory, greatness, strongness, and authority before all the age, and now, and into all the ages, with certainty. Jude closes this letter by praising God. He writes, But to the one being able, referring to God, who is able, he is able-powered, capable, to keep watch regarding you, to be vigilant to watch you, keep you safe, guard you, without stumblingly falling, so that you are not tripping, messing up in your behavior, in your conduct relative to God and the things of God, and to cause you to stand down before His glory, to stand firm, to set you in place in the full sight and presence of His importance, splendor, renown, without blemish in exaltation, so that you are unblemished, no fault be found because of some defect as a spot or damage in you, and that is within elation, as though dancing, jumping, leaping a lot, springing about. To the only God, our Saviour, God alone is the source, the originator of salvation for all holy people, all Christians, how? Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ our Lord is the one through whom we are saved. He carried out the action. He is the agency by way of which the initiated progress passed through in order to reach the accomplishment of God by providing salvation to all people, and of God being the Savior of those who accept it. When Jude writes Jesus Christ, he is emphasizing his obedience and service to God on a horizontal level to benefit people. Nobody could be saved from sins and their consequences, from destruction back to God without Jesus Christ our Lord or Master. Is glory. The glory belongs to and is due to God. He should be given the ultimate importance, splendor, renown. Greatness, majesty. God is the one who is in the condition or state of being great, large in magnitude, quality, rank, importance, depth, measure, etc. The one in whom greatness is evidenced and exemplified. Strongness, exerted force, power in effect, exerted strength, and authority, authoritative power or right, before all the age, in front of, in advance of, prior to, all or every duration of life which began for mankind when God put his gracious plan of redemption and salvation into active motion as recorded in Genesis 3.15. And now, at the present time, right now, into all the ages, for or throughout all durations of lifetimes, not only one age or group of ages, but emphatically for all the durations of life, the entirety, for eternity, forever, with certainty. Amen. Truly, surely. The phrase, all the age, refers to the age-long times that began in chronological motion from the day when God first spoke the promise of the coming Saviour, the Christ, in Genesis 3.15. And then God expelled mankind from paradise that same day, as recorded in Genesis chapter 3, verses 23 and 24, putting his gracious plan of redemption and salvation into active motion. These age-long times had a starting point, and they will also have an ending point. They will not last forever, 
but will end, when all things will be subjected to Christ, and then he gives the kingdom over to God, and he also places himself in subjection to God. Refer to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 20 to 28. All the people who will receive new spiritual bodies with Holy Spirit life will be together with God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ in paradise on earth. Refer to Revelation chapters 21 and 22. To the only God our Savior, by means of Jesus Christ our Lord, is glory, greatness, strongness, and authority before all the age, and now, and into all the ages, with certainty.